What's going on guys? It is me, T-Man, and today we're going to be playing Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. We're starting a new park, Paradise Pier. So let's get right into it. Paradise Pier. Convert this sleepy town's pier into a thriving attraction. Your objective is to have at least 600 guests in your park at the end of October year two with a park rating of at least 600. Okay, well, 600 guests, that's not very much. Year two, that's not very much time either. Admission is free, so we're going to be charging for rides. Let's take a look at our ride selection. Abysmal is one way to put it. So let's go with thrill rides and shops and stalls. Because we want we want that kiosk. We want that kiosk. We want that umbrella money. So we're gonna go with thrill rides and shops and stalls off the bat. They're painting us into a corner here. There's no flat land. I mean it's flat, but everything is on stilts because it's on water. Which shouldn't be too much of an issue, but it's going to make it just kind of tedious when I, when it comes to placing some areas for uh, for like shops and stalls and like seating areas and stuff like that. It's just going to become a nightmare. I can already see it. But, you know, we're going to roll with the punches. The layout is okay, but I think what we can actually do is let's just cut off this path for now from the rest of everything something like that give us some space up here to play some rides maybe all right <laughs> let's place a carousel first oh what a beautiful what a beautiful start and with that we'll go ahead and open it up and we'll go ahead and open the park as well all right, let's keep going. Get a Ferris wheel over here on the opposite side. We'll have this exit feed, feed right into the merry-go-round. And we'll open up the Ferris wheel. Good start. We got some guests um, slowly trickling in. I think this little middle intersection is going to be a good spot to get our kiosk, bathroom, and a whole assortment of shops and stalls, really. So let's make space for that. So what I would normally do in this section is place a fence down, place another path right here, get a get a, some benches. But um, I don't think I can place a fence in the air. It'd be wrong. Oh, I am wrong. Wow. Amazing. Um, there's just that the right spot. It's we're going with it. Wow. Incredible, really. We'll get a few benches on this outside area as well. Want to make sure we get trash cans across from all of these concessions. Let's try and get another fence. I mean, we got lucky the first time. Let's see. Okay, we have a, a spot for our kiosk that we'll unlock soon, as well as like maybe a balloon stand right here. Okay, so we got our shops and stalls um, all set up. We can go ahead and open these right away. And these uh, these people need some place to go, so let's let's go ahead and open this area up to them. Oh yes, I forgot to go to maximum funding. Let's do that. And I'm just now noticing we have a pretty healthy amount of money. We can take up to twenty thousand out of the bank. Let's try and use that to our favor. Let's get a roller coaster in here. I really like these junior roller coasters. They're pretty easy to work with. We're going to have the station on the water. We'll go up into, let's see. 
five stations wide. We'll go up into a curved chain lift and we can just kind of hug the border and we'll just add some hills or will we? Okay, this is the other edge of our park. Okay, so we're on the park border over here as well now. We get up to a plus six right here. So if I drop down and pop back up to plus four, we should be okay. And get that turn right there. And now I'm thinking it might be cool to just have this roller coaster just kind of wrap around the edge and go around everything. That sounds kind of cool. We are going to lose some momentum, I think. I think so we'll, we'll get another chain lift over here on this side actually I think we might have a little bit more and we'll get the chain lift over here gosh I hope this this roller coaster is a good idea all right this is pretty intense 10 down to a three right here I don't know if the people here are ready for this kind of ride but this is our only roller coaster, so it's got to be great, you know? Yeah, and the great thing about this is since everything else is on stilts, we can easily just get our coaster under here. So I was thinking the entrance could be right here, exit right there. I think that looks pretty good. Let's test it out. I'm not too sure about this one. For one, there's only one coaster. Which is not really efficient. I don't even know how fast we got. Okay, this is the fastest we'll get. Okay, 35. It starts it starts off slow, but it gets gets more intense. What does it say? Okay, it has a decent excitement and intensity. I I'm fine with it. I do want to see, though, if we can get any more than one train on here. So we can get two trains of seven. And what if I added an extra station platform here at the end? Two trains of nine, that's better than two trains of seven, so let's... Let's go with that. We know it can make it around the track, so we'll go ahead and send the first one off on a test run, and we'll open it up. People are walking around in circles. They need something to do once they find our Junior Roller Coaster 1. They will know what to do. We did unlock the information kiosk. Let's get that right here on this corner. Okay, and now since we have a couple rides in here, we got shops and stalls, let's get some um, staff as well. Two handymen, one mechanic, one security guard, that should be plenty for now. All right, so let's continue placing rides. We did unlock the swinging ship. All right, our swinging ship is hooked up. We'll open it. Go ahead and add a few benches on these exit paths. It's 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 unfortunate that, you know, we're we're forced to build on the stilts because I do feel like I'm not able to get the gardens that I like to get, which also helps our park rating out. Let's actually take a look. We do have some pirate decorations. Maybe that could win us some points. That's kind of cool. I like the idea of getting a pirate ship 
back here in the water by this junior roller coaster. What else? We also have the twist. That's a pretty good one. We'll get that in here next. Bada bing, bada boom. Our twist is hooked up. We'll open it. Okay, once we unlock this balloon stall, I'm thinking that we'll, we'll get away from the shops and stalls and we'll go toward Thrill and... Roller coasters, um, the gentle rides just don't, these aren't the gentle rides we want, so I'm not sure if, well, I guess they could only give us better gentle rides. So we'll add gentle rides to the mix as well. Since we don't have anything to place, let's just check on our guests. Let's see what they're thinking. They like the junior roller coaster, that's good. They want, they want some more thrilling rides. Okay, I got, I got you guys. Now we got people saying they like the twist. This is all, it's all great news for us. All right, I said I wouldn't do it, but I'm just impatient. So what we're going to do is actually get some of these rowing boats down. And, and we'll see where they go. They might steal our boats. They might just sail right away with them, but... At least they're going to give us some money. I'm going to I'm going to put this guiding track at the end of this rowing boat. So hopefully that's going to help people, you know, make their way back here. I really hope I don't have to deal with, you know, stragglers trying to steal my boats, but it is all hooked up. Let's go ahead and open it. And we'll open this section of the park as well. All right, we're going to keep our eye on these guys. We unlock the balloon stall. Let's get one of those right here on the intersection. Boat one, wait. Oh, did they did they already return the boat? It happened so fast. What? They're actually They're actually returning the boats? It's never happened before. Let's uh let's keep an eye on these guys. See, these guys have a mind of their own, so pretty sure we're gonna have to keep track of them. Okay, well we're we're in pretty good shape right now. I think we're making some good money. We we are halfway to our guest requirements. Our park rating is at 821. Not the best, but since we are a little bit limited with our decorations just because we're building on water here, I think that's pretty decent for now. Sure. Okay. So spiral slide, we got it. This does not need anything special. Just get a simple entrance and exit one tile away from the park path. Single ride per admission. Sounds fair. Did not take us very long to get that slide down. Let's fast forward a little bit until we get our next ride. Ooh, looping roller coaster on the horizon. It feels great. Whoa, buddy. Okay. We knew this was a possibility. It says boat three has not has not returned. Those darn guests. This is exactly why we can't have uh rowboats. Terrible. Okay. We're going to shut down the... Not the pirate ship. We're going to shut down the rowboats. And we're just going to get our own path on these things. Since people don't want to return the boats, we're just going to keep them on the track. We'll have them go around the battleship. 
maybe just pass right by the front of it, get a good photo op for the guests. There we go. We'll open our rowing boats back up. Shouldn't have any problems there now. And we did unlock the looping roller coaster. That is one we definitely want to get in here. Say hello to our loops roller coaster. Simple powered launch. Quick moneymaker. Alrighty, got our loops roller coaster all hooked up. Let's test it out. And uh, we can open it. And let's go ahead and connect it to the rest of the park. Very good, very good. And back here in this little open section, I think might be a good spot to get some more kiosks down. So let's try that. Whoa, what happened to all our money? Okay, let's pull out a thousand just so we can get this these shops and stalls down. Okay, we got a few shops and stalls down. We'll go ahead and open these up. We are in the penultimate month, September, year one, looking really good on our objectives. So we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. I think we're good on the roller coasters now. We can go back to thrill rides and gentle rides. So this is what we have so far. Let's pull up our research and fast forward a little bit until we get our next ride. Okay, so we have unlocked the observation tower. This side of the park is pretty stacked. I could use this ride as an opportunity to kind of branch out to the opposite side. Observation tower is hooked up. We'll open it. Let's also not forget to get some staff over here. We'll get a few over, overlapping uh, handymen. That should be good. Let's let's get an entertainer in here. Why not? Things are just chugging along here at Paradise Pier. We may actually hit our goal at the end of the first year. We'll see. And sure enough, we're able to hit 600 guests by October year one, a full year ahead of what we need for the objective. So we're in really good shape. Year two is just going to be about maintaining the park, and I think we can do that. Submarine ride, what is this about? Okay, so it's basically like a, a rowboat, but underwater. Maybe that's what we can actually put in this, this big area over here. All right, we have our submarine station. I should say our submarine ride completed. Let's get our stations on here next. Okay, our submarine ride is all hooked up, and now it's hooked up to the main path. Let's open it. Looking good, and we did reach year two, so just to go over it again, our objective is to have 600 guests in our park at the end of October year two this year. And we have already met our guest objective we're just going to have to keep 600 guests in our park and keep our park rating above 600. It's doable. We will see. So this this year, we're just going to kind of fast forward through, unlock some rides, place them down where needed, and we'll finish this one out strong. Okay. 
We unlocked Dodgems. Let's go ahead and get that. Okay, I think I will actually get the Dodgems here, and I might just push in this park path so it's not blocking us in like this. Okay, our Dodgems is all hooked up. We'll open it. And I wonder if I could get a pirate ship, another one of these pirate ship decorations over here. We'll get two pirate ships side by side, maybe like they're attacking each other, you know? And we'll continue until we get this next ride. Haunted house. We're on a streak. Of the best gentle rides you've ever seen in your life. We unlock the haunted house. Let's get that one in here quick. Quick because we got we got people puking all over the place. Alright, there's no time. I need to get a handyman right here. You touch ups Sh shouldn't shouldn't have moved on to the haunted house so quickly, but you know I got ahead of myself. We're returning to the haunted house to put the entrance on here. Okay, we got our long entrance on this haunted house. Let's go ahead and open it. Oh no! Okay, pause. All right, the last time I placed a ride without a without an exit on the water, it was not good. So let's make sure we have that. Oh no, we don't have the money! Why are you doing this to me? Oh my goodness. This game, it, it wants you to kill people, I swear. That would not have been good for our park rating. But we caught we caught the issue quick. Still rolling here. Got another gentle ride on the way. What happens? Where are my thrill rides at? Come on. Haunted mansion ride. What? What a sorry excuse. Spent time researching that. I'm not gonna place it. Okay, we unlocked the 3D cinema. That's a good one. Our 3D cinema is hooked up. We'll go ahead and open it. Get those no entry banners at the exits. I haven't been getting too many of these long exit paths with several rides connected just because it just hasn't worked out that way. Sometimes it's just it's just easiest to just get a quick entrance and exit directly onto the park path. This is a pretty small park, so I think we're okay. Alright, let's see what research is next for us. It's going to be the top spin or the... Oh, okay, top spin. I called it video evidence, okay? So we unlock the top spin. Let's get that one in here. Okay, top spin is hooked up. We're going to keep it on beginner's mode. And we'll connect it to the rest of the park. And to open it. Now we have another ride that will make tons of people puke. Let's get a handyman right here. And he can just stay in this, in this area. Only three more months to go. Let's see what we unlock next. Okay, we unlocked the inverter ship. We'll get that one in here. Just bring this up to plus three, get it even with our park path. Okay, our swinging inverter ship is hooked up. We'll open it. And I'm actually going to get another kiosk and bathroom back here. I think it's time. 
Honestly, it's always a good time to reconsider your concessions because this side of the park, we do not have anything going on for us. All right, line for swinging inverter ship filled up immediately. They like those thrill rides. They sure do. Let's see what's next. Okay, we unlocked the launched free fall. Definitely get one of those in here. We gotta get it as high as the observation tower. There's no no way around it. We've actually just kind of bridged these two areas together, literally. With our launched free fall right in the middle. Should have remembered that we need to set the launch the launch speed on this, so let's let's get that sorted out first. Okay. We'll open up our launched free fall. Well, 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 this is what we have. Let me just go ahead and connect this to our central path. Looks good. Didn't have any trouble with this scenario. I mean, I don't want to celebrate too early, but we have the guests. We have the park rating. Just waiting on the clock to tick down right here at the end. So let's go ahead and finish it out. We've definitely come a long way from the empty pier at the beginning of this scenario. All right. We completed all the park scenarios in the Emerald Group. Fantastic. And we had achieved our objective with a company value of $155,000. Is that a lot? Sounds like a lot. Fantastic. What a, what a wild ride it's been. Okay, well, I mean, there wasn't much to this one. It was, everything was kind of on stilts. So there was that little wrinkle, and um, once once I kind of just decided that we would have, you know, rides in these two open areas, kind of get rid of the starting squares they had up here so we could fit these rides in, um, just kind of place some rides off the main path. Then we ended up getting this junior roller coaster around around the edge of the park, which I think turned out pretty well. And we we're able to get some of that junior roller coaster under all these stilts here, which I think is pretty cool. We just placed a couple shops and stalls in the center, and that really that really that really held us over until late in the game when we decided to add some on the ends over here. So overall, pretty easy scenario to finish out the Emerald Group. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am T-Man with T-Man's Reviews. See you next time.